So today I'm sharing 10 ways to make your home happier without spending any money. These are things that you can do right now. Sometimes our homes can be a little bit depressing. I'm not talking about in the clinical sense. I'm simply talking about when you look around and you see things that you either wanna fix or do, but you don't have the time or money, or sometimes it's just things that are in your home that you don't even notice are kind of like bringing you down. And maybe you just think it's fine and you don't realize, but I'm telling you, there are certain things that can make your home depressing. Okay, so I have to start with what I think is the foundation of making a happier home. I've talked about it a ton on my channel, clutter. Clutter is actually truly depressing, and the more that I declutter my home, the more I realize just how much of a drag it has been on me. It's also a drag on your home. You know, it's really holding you and your home back. And it's also overwhelming and causes stress and a cluttered mind. However, a lot of times too, maybe it's not your clutter. And I've gotten a lot of comments from people who ask what to do in their home if they live with someone who can't let go of things or has a lot of things you know, in their space and it's making it cluttered, maybe it's a roommate situation. What I would say is if you're in a space and you're not fully in, in control of your own home or your own space, then what you need to do to make yourself less depressed and make your home feel happier is just carve out a space that is yours and that is completely uncluttered. It can be a clutter, free retreat that you just maintain and it's yours. I guarantee even if you have like a very cluttered house and you just make this one clutter free space, it's going to help a lot. You know, maybe it's a bedroom, maybe it's a bathroom, maybe it's the corner of a room, whatever it is, just find that one space. I used to live with a roommate in college. So this is kind of where I got the idea and, and I'm sure she's not watching, but if she is, she knows I love her, but she was super messy and it really kind of irked me because we would be sharing a room and I'd want the room, I mean, I wasn't the cleanest person either, but you know, we were definitely had two different ways of keeping the room clean. So we came to an agreement. I was gonna have my cluttered free space in my area of the room, and then she could do whatever she wanted with her room. Once we kind of agreed on that and it, I established it in my mind, I was so much happier and her clutter did not bother me anymore. Okay, another way that we are going to make your space happier and now that we've gotten rid of the clutter, it's all about cleaning. It's amazing how much nicer and better your space will be when you just give it a nice good cleaning. And I'm not talking about cleaning all day or anything crazy like that. Honestly, just set a timer for 10 or 15 minutes and get it as clean as you want. It will do so much for your mood. It'll make your house a lot less depressing. I've done a lot of videos on this. I'll go ahead and link a card up here, but there's a number th of things you can do to make it easier on yourself. Okay, now let's get into some of the good stuff. The next is all about lighting. This is so important. And I don't mean lamps or, or that kind of lighting, although I will talk about that a bit. What I'm actually talking about is natural lighting. So if you're in a space like I am, I'm in a row house. I don't have windows on the sides of my home. I only have windows at the front of the house and the back of the house. So we don't have a ton of natural light. In fact, my kitchen doesn't have any natural light at all. And if I'm not careful in the house, you know, if I like block the light in any way, the house could get very dark. So I would say if you're in a space like mine where you don't have a ton of natural light, take a look at your window treatments. I think that a lot of times people put these like dark, heavy window treatments on their windows when you don't need to. Unless you're in a bedroom, you really don't need window treatments that block out the light. Or, you know, change out those heavier curtains for like the sheer ones, any kind of curtain that lets in the light. Now, speaking of light, another really important thing is the paint colors that you choose. And this is maybe a bigger change, something you can't do today. But one of the things, one of the most important things when you don't have a lot of natural light in your home is to use a paint with a high light reflectance value and that's called LRV. I wanna make sure whatever I'm painting my home that it's very bright and light and that the paint reflects that light all around. I have white dove in my house and it has a light reflectance value of 85%. There are some that goes up to 90%, 95%. So just kind of figure out what it is before if you're looking to paint and you can pick a color based on how much light you wanna reflect around the home. Another way to get that light reflected around your home is to use mirrors. I actually installed a mirror in my entryway which really helps reflect that light into the living room and into the kitchen from the entryway. So, so maybe see where you can add some mirrors or position some mirrors to get that light bouncing around. It also helps keeping your windows really clean inside and out. Don't forget the value of cleaning those windows. 
I also think it's really important, and I've talked about dimmers, to have lights on dimmers. I think that in the morning, you want things bright and you can expose yourself to all of that light. And then as the day goes on and as nighttime comes along, you wanna lower that light and get yourself ready for sleep. So having a light that you can either adjust the brightness or put on a dimmer is is perfect for your space and you know getting some lamps I've gotten some floor lamps and some table lamps and that just really helps with ambiance in your home because a lot of times people just have overhead harsh lighting which is great because it brightens up the room but then the lamps really add that ambiance okay another thing you can do immediately to make your space feel happier is to rearrange your room when I was a kid I used to do this all of the time every like few months I would move all of my furniture around move my bed around and it just felt like a brand new room. It felt like I was in a new house and I just really loved it and having like a fresh perspective on it. You can do this in your living room, your bedroom. I've even heard of people like changing around entire rooms. You know, maybe they've turned an office, now they turn it into a dining room and kind of shift things around that way. It just helps feel fresh and exciting. Another thing you can do is to shop your home and just put out some new things. You know, maybe you've got some decor pieces, pillows, blankets in different rooms, maybe they're stored in the attic or in a storage area, pull those out, shop your home, don't go shopping, just look around for what you've got and put it in different rooms and just essentially shop your room to create a whole new look. You can move artwork around, you can move pictures around, you can move lamps around, just get creative. If you've got furniture in your home that you do not like, just cover it up. There's a ton of ways you can do this. I mean, the easiest way to do it is just throw a blanket on it because sometimes the, the like furniture that you don't like and when you look at it you can't stand it and so just a quick fix is to throw a blanket on it they also sell like couch covers and different kinds of things that you can like fully cover your furniture with and you can buy those those things you can even buy them custom which is a little bit more expensive but that's a good way is to just cover up your furniture that you don't like and honestly if you have furniture that you like really hate just consider getting rid of it or tossing it or donating it okay the next thing is plants and greenery this is one of my favorite things to do I probably have more than 30 plants all over the house I love them I buy them regularly I think that they really help to make your home not only feel better and more cheerful but it also helps clean your air it's a good way to bring the outdoors in it's just a really good thing to do and you can start out slow if you don't have any plants just get something like a pothos those are really difficult to kill and they don't need a lot of light. They barely need any water and they're just a great starter plant. Another thing you should do is to get rid of things in your home that make you feel bad, whatever it is. Maybe it's like something from like an ex. Maybe it's photos of people who have passed away. Obviously you love them and you wanna think about them, but maybe you don't wanna be reminded of them constantly. You know, think about things in your home that could be subconsciously sort of making you feel sad or upset and think about what those are and don't feel like you need to hang on to them or that you need to display them. And then kind of on the flip side of that, you should display anything that makes you feel happy, whether it's a piece of artwork or a photo or a teacup that you have from when you were a kid. I'm just making this up, but something that makes you happy, just put that on display. You should be able to look at it every day and feel happy when you look at it. Okay, and then I wanna talk about scent. The way your home smells, if you can believe it, drastically affects your mood. So a couple of things you can do to make your home smell really good and even better, open your windows. Open those windows when the weather allows and just let that fresh air in. I also have a air purifier in my home. It's like the thing I never knew I needed and I really love it. I can link it. There's tons of them on the market though. I think that it helps with the smells. It helps with allergies and the air coming out of it once it's purified. It just smells clean and fresh and I'm really enjoying it. But you don't need to buy an air purifier, honestly. Like just open your windows and let that fresh air in. I'm also a fan of essential oil diffusers. I think that you can just find some nice scents that you like. Citrus smells are really good and just use those. You know, I like to go for the natural ones and they're a lot healthier for you than like scented candles or any of those air fresheners that you buy. You don't want to have too many fresheners from synthetic sources because a lot of those chemicals have hormone disruptors and all kinds of bad things, but essential oils are a good one. So pick some scents that smell good and that you love and that will create happy memories for you. Okay, those are my tips on how to make your home undepressing, how to make it happier. I hope you got some good ideas. If you like this content, be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you on my channel. I'm gonna go ahead and link a video right up here, so click on it and I will see you over there. Bye-bye.